And we are back on Sister Circle Live, and she is a woman of many talents. Our next guest is host of the nationally syndicated radio show, The Nightly Spirit, a Grammy-nominated singer and comedian. And she's here to tell us about her new EP, Jesus Was Eclectic, okay. yes. and much more. Darlene McCoy, welcome back to the yes. Circle. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Every time I see you, I want to sing your intro to your song, to your uh, radio show. Go ahead. No, I can't. You can. It's your girl, Darlene. 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 What are some of the things that, you know, the community can do and the church can do to kind of refresh in church or, you know, just do it differently, as you would say? I think that, you know, uh, we have, we are so accustomed the way, to the way tradition. that we've done church. Mm -hmm. And then we have just gone hard and been convicted about a tradition. Mm -hmm. But we haven't mm -hmm. really, I just, I think that, you know, I believe that Christ is always at the, at the lead of the culture. Mm -hmm. But the church isn't always at the lead of the culture mm -hmm. because we're stuck. Mm -hmm. and tradition and, and I just think that what we need to do is have
you know, it just it's it's a grind mm -hmm. the whole time. You know, you 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 know, I could just relax and just be on radio, but it just defined me as an artist because I'm still doing music mm -hmm. to say that I could just do this, but I have to do this. There's right. a conviction in me, yeah. you know, to to minister in, in, in song. Yeah. So like I just that. keep on going and keep, keep going. going. So. Well, Darlene, we're gonna hold you a little bit longer. We're gonna hold you hostage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna talk more about this EP. So okay. you can stream Darlene McCoy's new new EP Jesus was collected on all digital platforms when it drops on Friday and the conversation always continues as the Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yes. All right. Yes. We're back, yes, promise, with radio host, singer, and comedian Darlene McCoy. Uh, before the break, we talked about the new album just a little bit and the title. So what was your intention behind the title, and what do you want fans to walk away with? Um, I, I wanted them to ask the question, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. I wanted them to, to just say, wait a minute, what is that? Because I think that, you know, if I say Jesus, I'll grab one crowd's attention. But then if I say eclectic... It's a whole different crowd. It's a whole nother crowd. Right. So I want to uh, get the message to both crowds. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's basically, you know, that's the intention behind it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you have a lot of people around you to kind of say, that's not eclectic enough, uh, do a little bit more Jesus here, or did you do all I this? Really, I really did this myself, yeah. really. And I really wish I had more people to collaborate with, mm -hmm. but maybe that in itself is just a, move, a lead of God. He's just trying to get the authentic me mm -hmm. out of me yeah and um you know i'm no longer afraid to do that you know right. was, yeah. there was a time that i was afraid to be authentically who i am but i'm no longer afraid of that yeah. so so maybe this is just time for me to just give you what i have mm -hmm. well i really love yeah. the artwork yeah. First thank of all, you the artwork is super sharp thank you um and I, speaking of just trying to get the word out there there are a lot of R&B artists mm -hmm. and you know me being an R&B artist i've been approached a thousand times why do you do a gospel album mm -hmm. gospel album for me personally I feel like I need to be strong enough in my word, in the mm -hmm. word, mm -hmm. to be able to, that's just my own personal yeah. uh, plight and responsibility that I put on myself. Mm -hmm. But what are your thoughts about R&B artists just creating, um, well, just getting into the gospel realm? Because sometimes I feel like they feel like, well, I can sell more records over here if I go over there and do a gospel oh, wow. album. Right. Because you know the, you know how mm -hmm. the, the, the shift is, is mm -hmm. you know, if you sell 100,000 records in gospel, that's like, a big deal mm -hmm. as opposed to selling 100,000 mm -hmm. RB B, mm -hmm. B records. So mm -hmm. what is your take on that? My take on that is this. I really feel like, and this is my, my personal opinion, I feel like the gospel should be set up the way the kingdom of God is set up. Um, we, what we've done is we have marginalized gospel <coughs> as a genre of music. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like gospel is ministry. So good news. all forms of music is should be, it sh everybody should be welcome mm -hmm. on the platform of gospel because everybody is welcome in God's house. Mm -hmm. Why isn't everybody right. welcome in the, into the industry? Right. You know, why is it that we have to marginalize everybody and, and tell them, no, you can't say anything about Christ? And they have their own convictions. Right. They have their own life with them, and, you know, they, it can't be argued. So, mm -hmm. um, but that's just my take. Yeah. And see, I, and, and to, to, to add on to that, my chapter, my second album, I talked a lot about God inside of that album, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I just, I, and I didn't care. Right. Because I just Good. feel like he's part of, I mean, he's, he's the forefront, actually, right. Come on. of right. my life. And so just because I'm R&B mm -hmm. doesn't mean that I can't talk about him in that music yeah, as well. Exactly. And, and it's like, we can't, it's, it, but they want to classify you and put you in a box. That's right. So and that just, is why it's I diminishing have yes. <laughs> because I can't be in a box right God's not in the box I'm his child exactly. why should I be? come on mm -hmm. you know right. what I mean but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna switch gears for just a second we're gonna talk about your nonprofit organization yes. mobs M-O-B-S yes motherhood mothers Mother of brave, brave souls, souls. Yes. Yes. I like that name Thank I like you. the title tell us about the organization well, basically it focuses on mothers I, I am a mother grandmother I've raised Ooh. my kids they're grown I have two grandchildren but what I know that I needed most is mentorship mm -hmm. and help. Sometimes we've got mothers that are, you know, that are, are, are raising their children and they have questions and they don't know who to ask. <laughs> you know, I am grateful to have my mother. My mother gave me a lot of wisdom to share, mm -hmm. know you know, right. to share with other people. But, um, but I, I see so many mothers that are struggling with, you know, the relationship with the father, the relationship yeah. with their own parents, and, and it, you know, filters down into the, to raising their kids. So yeah. what I want to do is to continue to mentor mothers and be and give them resources and help yes. you know yes. 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 the people need you 
Well, yes, they, they, they do. do. So, Darlene, you, you, you got the music game on lock. Thank you, you got, sis. You got radio hosting on lock. You got your Thank show you. on lock. Let's talk a little bit about comedy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> upcoming projects. And what led you to comedy? When people first heard you saying, like, no, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. Like, right. What was the response? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think that I would be a stand-up comedian. I just, I think I was just, I'm just born funny. I'll say <laughs> stuff, like, on the slick. And it's just one of those things that, you know, if it's not improv, I probably won't do very well with it. I have to just, it's just Just natural. go for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. It's just a natural thing. So, um, with comedy, well, Jesus is eclectic. Jesus Was Eclectic is actually a series, and I will have a comedy um, EP oh, that yeah, is connected cool. to that that's as nice. well. You see what I'm saying? This yes. one, this one is called Decades. We're going through the 70s, 80s, 90s, 90s with the different sounds, but I will have a comedy one under Jesus Was Eclectic. That is I cool. like that. So, yeah. so what you like about being a Gigi? Oh my God. <laughs> They are the cutest little things in the world, and yeah. I can just... It, oh, no. that one. That's my little baby. That's Catalina. Ah, so I have Jax and I have Catalina. Yes. And, um, you know, they. I, I never knew love like this before. All right. Really? I'm so serious. It's just Don't like... Don't let they, your kids hear you saying that. I, I want oh, you to mom, wake up and hear me <laughs> say it. I never knew love like this before. What is it about being a grandmother or a Gigi as opposed to... A mother, that well, a different type of like. Well, I know my parents let my kids do things they would have never let us do. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like as as a grandmother, mm -hmm. I can offer wisdom, and mm -hmm. in, in, in a way that I wasn't able to as a mother. Yeah. yeah. I can be there and help. You know, some guy the kids, but then the grandkids. You know, I can spoil them, mm -hmm. and then I can give them back. Give them back. Uh -huh. And I can go get them. Yes. When I want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a great thing, and the love is just so it's so real. It's just so, it's beautiful. Speaking of love, you, you're giving me like a love, I'm in love tease. Mm. I say you're shining up here. I say <laughs> you're glowing. <laughs> are the people in love? Are you talking about my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey, I've got a man. We've been yes. dating for like two and a half years. His name is Aww. Alfonso Jackson. Nice hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, no, but uh, we've been friends for like years, but we have we started dating two and a half years ago. So yes. did that you know. new love help facilitate your music? Yes, it really yeah. helps that someone believes in you and keeps mm -hmm. speaking into you and into you and encouraging you. Yes, you know, especially when you're kind of introverted, mm -hmm. and he, you know, he he kind of helps me get out of the box by you know, validating some of my thoughts, you know, because sometimes I be thinking I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. And here he goes, he's like, oh, I think that too. Mm -hmm. And then so, <laughs> right. 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 Well, I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. You know, it's always a pleasure for you to come down to the circle. We love yes. you. I yes. love y'all. We love yes. your spirit. Yes. I mean, yes. aptly named Nightly yes. Spirit. Yes. That's exactly yes. what you are. Awesome. Jesus is eclectic. You can make sure, make sure you get that on all digital streaming platforms on Friday. And also, mm -hmm. up here in the ATL on January 29th, Darlene will be performing at the Atlanta City Winery. Yes! Yeah.